new year, new WWE 2K, new menu, new match types, and new features. Let's get into this breakdown. Let's kick this off with a breakdown of WWE 2K23 menu. The laid out for it is very much like WWE 2K22, with of course some slight changes and a different look. The first tab, as you guys can see, is all of the main modes, with no changes from before. Moving to the right, we got creations, and this is the one that features the most changes. Entrance and victory are now together, and there's now the addition of image, which I'm hoping is gonna make things easier to delete any type of images, logos, and renders that, that we're not using anymore. And as you guys can see in the background of the menu, it features a different superstars trunks. This is one of the best menus that, that we have gotten in a 2K game. On the online tab, we have the same options as last year, and the options tab is also the same. I went into the roster sub tab here to showcase to you guys all of the titles that, that we are going to be getting, alongside all of the default champions, except for Gunther holding the Universal Championship. I was doing something else, so I gave him that title. It of course belongs to Roman and we already know all of the ratings all of the overalls But I decided to scroll down a bit here just in case there were some changes And that's when I found out that Rey Mysterio was updated to 86 and this was before they even announced it So just a little bit extra there Let's go ahead and back up and go to the home page so we can check out those match types when we are in this election screen The menu actually changes to an arena view just like previously you get to select what type of match you want to do unfortunately as you guys can see there's only one new match type this year that is war games that you could play three versus three or four versus four everything else is basically the same as 2k22 for one versus one we have the same type of match types and trust me guys we do continue to ask for many of the classic to come back we won the special referee matches the inferno matches casket match and so on but i guess this is just not the year for the other multi-man matches as you guys can see again we have the same type of options as before so after you select the match type you get to select the arena there is a really good selections of brand new arenas this year and many of these looks really cool these are the ones available right away there are multiple other arenas that you get to unlock through showcase but due to embargo i'm not able to show you showcase just yet gotta wait a couple of few days for that nonetheless I, we don't have the long ramp but i did thought that clash of the castle and wrestlemania looked really good i still gotta try a bunch of the other ones moving on we can see how the selection screen looks and the options to customize a match alongside the referee options that we get and right on top as you guys can see there's also a female referee tab which a little bit embarrassing but i just noticed that now so i can't really show you a couple of extra things i wanted to point out when setting up a tournament the tournament brackets looks really cool just like the rest of the menu it looks really clean and it doesn't feel like we're being blinded every time we switch to something talking some extra changes regarding match types for the royal rumble teams actually work together so you can have the bloodline coming out first and they will not fight each other they will actually wait until someone else comes in and then they will team up against that person eventually though as the rumble goes on they will start hitting each other i will have more hidden features features and insane details to showcase to you guys uh, like i have been doing in some of the recent shorts so expect many more once the game is in our hands I also ended up exploring the backstage, which is the same area as at 2K22, with a couple of extra props and a couple of extra interactions. Shout out to Johnny Gargano, I was actually facing him here, he is obviously controlling himself, unfortunately our voice audio for this match got corrupted, but we were putting up an instant classic as you guys can see from all of these highlights. Overall the biggest takeaway from the backstage area is that there is uh, some brand new interactions including this insane one which after you destroy the barricade by strong iris whipping the opponent towards it three to four times big show and john cena style you could throw your opponent straight into this we already posted the bloodline and brand new superstar entrances so make sure you guys check that out and we got some huge challenges coming up that is all for this one so stay savage